Hey guys, Cloud here today, and I'm going to be doing a very basic tutorial that I have covered before in the past, but there has been a lot of questions about uh, how to do this, so I wanted to make a dedicated video that I could just link to anybody if they had questions about it, and that is linking entities via scoreboard. Okay, so let's just get into it. So everything I do in this video is going to be with command blocks, but obviously it can be used in data packs or command blocks. And I will talk about a few kind of more efficient things that data packs allow you to do. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and summon a pig here with no AI. Okay, so he needs to be linked to me so that I can, whenever I, I can reference him from myself. Does that make sense? Uh, so let's say I want to teleport just that pig, that specific pig to me in a selector. I just want that specific pig. Okay, so how are we going to do this? And, and we need to be able to teleport it while there's another player on the server that also has their own pig and their different pigs. So we're gonna create a scoreboard. And I'm going to call it ID. Oh, I'll call it SID, scoreboard ID. Okay. And then we're going to put it in the sidebar. All right. So this is kind of the process of adding things to a link. So when I spawn this pig, we run these commands. Okay. Makes sense. So we run scoreboard players add dot global SID one. So that'll run the, it'll increment a fake player to have a new number every time this is run. Then we will do scoreboard players operation at E type equals pig, sort equals nearest, limit equals one, SID equals dot global SID. So they become the new value. All right, so when I click this, the pig will get a score of one. Now, if I spawn another pig, and I use this at the other pig, he will have an ID of two, while this guy still has an ID of one and global will be incremented to two. So what this allows you to do is essentially every single entity that you run these two commands at will have a new and unique value that no other entities will have unless the global counter overflows to the negative integers and comes back around to zero. But by the time you've had four billion mobs in your world, you probably will not have two with this, like the one that was four billion mobs ago probably no longer exists. It's not a problem that I've ever ran into. So now comes the part where we also want to link the player. So we're gonna add this command and we're going to link the player, so we'll set them up to have the same score. Now, usually you're going to have some context to know who the player is and what the new entity is. So what you can do is you can give us a, a temporary tag to this entity in which you add. So I can go uh, summon pig hog. I'll just do things all the way. Like I'll just assume that you aren't really used to this kind of stuff. So uh, he has a tag called init, and for now the player will just have at p, but you can come up with how it, whatever kind of rules uh, for you to have that player. Uh, so now we will assign it to the nearest that has a tag of init. This will give the, t the score to the player, and then we'll just do tag at e remove init. So what this will do is I'll summon this guy, and then I'll run this. Uh, We'll also give me a tag of init, and I'll go tag at p add init. There we go. So we'll just, you know, that, that way when you click it, it sets you up. So when I click this again, my score is still 2, his score is still 2, but global is changing. Uh, and you can add some other rules so that global doesn't increment unless uh, this is supposed to happen, but it really depends on the system. Uh, anyways, so now we have the same score, but how do we reference him to teleport to me? So I'll go over that example. Um, but referencing things will always be the same. So we can go, we're going to assume that the context is the player. So I will do execute as at A. Okay, we'll assume the context is the player. Then you can do as at E. If score at S equals, uh, let's also go to the player. So you're running the command as the player at them. 
but now you're going to all the entities and if their SID score is equal to at P, which will still be the player because it will pick the nearest player, but you're at the player, so they will be the nearest. Run TP at S. So this will teleport because at S is now the entity who has the score which matches. Because uh, once we've gotten past this if statement, anything ran afterwards will only be to things that match the statement. Uh, so if we run that, the pig is at me. Okay. And you can see he's that. Now if I go ahead and do scoreboard players set at SSID zero, he will no longer teleport to me. So now I can set up a new one. And now he's teleported to me. Very cool. Uh, I will link these commands and these commands, this command in the description. It will, well, I'll just have them typed out in the description. Uh, now I also want to go over efficiency. So you can see that this is a very inefficient command. So what it's doing is it going to all the players and then going to all the entities from all the players. Uh, so yeah, and it's doing a scoreboard check for the nearest player. This is pretty taxing. So what you're better off doing in the sen in the in the sense of a function is to run scoreboard. If you're in a function, you can do this. And if you only have one entity you're trying to teleport, and you're using commands, you can do this as well. Uh, but using a fake player always works good in a function. I'm just typing it in here so I don't have to like create a data pack. Uh, so you can do dot search SID equals at S SID. So it'll copy say the players. And I'll just use that P interchangeably with at S assuming that you're in some kind of function that you ran at every player. Uh, and then you can run execute as at E if score at S SID equals dot search SID. And this is a little bit more efficient because you're checking with a fake player. If their score matches a fake player, that's more efficient. And then you can do all the other stuff. So that's kind of a way that you can help it. Another thing would be to add some kind of condition here. So type equals pig will definitely help you reduce the amount of commands run. Uh, so that also will make it more efficient because it's only doing it to the pigs. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you can set up a scoreboard matching system. Obviously, you don't have to run the TP. You can run whatever you want because you went to the player and now you're at the pig. Now, in the sense of scoreboards, it's, I mean, th sense of data packs, it's actually way easier to do more on this. Uh, for example, you can do, uh, let me just pull up a quick example. So one of the things you can do is you could do scoreboard players operation at s, uh, dot search SID equals at s SID. You can do tag at s add this tag at s remove this and then you can do execute as at e type equals pig if score at s sid equals dot search sid run function and then that function if you're trying to do if you're trying to do calculations on both the player and the entity together the entity will be at s at s is the pig and then at p tag equals this is the player that it's linked to. And if you run this function as at A, it will have to run all four of these commands and all of these subcommands for each player separately. That's why the fake player works. So for Cloud Wolf, it will copy, add a tag, find the pig that matches, do the stuff, and remove the tag. Then it will go to your name, whoever you are, copy the score, add the tag, run the function, remove the tag. Okay, so that's why this works. Okay, it'll do it for each player separately one at a time. That's a very important distinction that a lot of people don't understand. Okay, so that that is all I want to show you today, linking things with scoreboard IDs in a separate video so that it's very clear what is in the video. If you thought that was useful, leave a like. Uh, I'm, I have some more really interesting stuff coming up that I've been hinting at, but it's not done yet. And I am just getting uh, the school year is just starting. I was thinking about posting a video talking about like college and stuff since it's just getting started up again. And I know a lot of you are probably going to college, especially people that have been longtime viewers. If you don't know, I just got my master's degree and I'm teaching a class. So there's my qualifications to talk about it. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.